Alright, what's up bros? How y'all doing today? So, basically, I made this video, well I had the clips for like a long time ago, like maybe like about a month ago, but um, basically this is my message to all Elden Ring players that are trying to fight Malene to this day, and the thing is that I was inspired by let me solo her to help other people, you know, beat Malene because I beat her once and it took me about like 50-ish attempts to beat her. Which was like three days total because you know I'm spending two hours a day playing all the ring, but I'm not gonna fight Malay for two hours straight because that's just gonna make me go insane. But anyways, I got inspired by Let Me Soul Her because you know he got 1,000 Melania kills and like he's getting more and more by the day, and he's just helping people you know get Melania you know defeated them for, like, you know beat them beat them for it. So like the problem with this is that people invite or summon like 60 people to help them, and yet they still die. And then the tactics I see people using are just so cheesy. Like the, the, the guy just a few seconds ago in this clip was literally just using the trident from Mog. But that did like no damage. That did like only 400 damage. And like the shit that I've seen, bro, that people use whenever they try to fight Melania in like magic, and then they miss it. And then they get surprised whenever they miss magic shots. Like they shot a whole beam of light from like the fucking universe. And then they just miss it because they're like, oh my god, she dodged it? Bro, she dodged all projectiles. Except for like AOE stuff, but then she's just gonna like go back like that as you just saw right now. And the thing is that if you see a man half naked, dressed up like Kratos, holding two katanas that are plus 25s, both have the cold, you know, affinity on them, I think you should probably back the fuck up because I mean, I'm basically let me solo her 2.0. I'm not as good. It's not like that I don't take any damage at all. I do take damage, but I'm not gonna like, you know, get fucked over by like one move. And like, I don't understand because you can see me dodge the whole waterfowl dance, or at least half of it. Like, like, hold on, watch up, watch this for a second. Alright, look. See, you see me dodge the whole waterfowl dance perfectly, and you still think you should be next to her? Bro, I think you should back up and just watch me, you know, absolutely decimate her. Because it, it, it didn't take me that long to beat Melania, but I'm not saying that, you know, I'm perfect whenever I fight her, but... Please, at least let me do something because, like, the way some people play this game, it just absolutely makes you want to, like, sit in a corner and cry till I sleep. And I cannot stress to you that it's so annoying whenever I'm working so hard, like, I dodge her whole waterfowl dance and I deal so much damage for her just for somebody to die. Like this guy right here. You can't dodge? You, you couldn't dodge that? That's the easiest attack to dodge in the whole game. Oh my god, bro. You couldn't dodge a flower. Imagine dying to a Scarlet Rock Flower. That is crazy. Absolutely outrageous, bro. Oh my god. Alright guys, you guys might be wondering why I'm getting so mad. And the reason I'm getting mad is that, you know, absolutely not even valid. But actually, it's quite the opposite. It is quite pretty valid because I could be doing so much and people die. And, I, and, I, and I'm going to keep saying that over and over again because it makes me angry as to how all my struggles and all my hard work are thrown in the goddamn water, alright? Because I could literally dodge her waterfowl dance for half of it, and then others just like get absolutely destroyed in like the first few like slices that she has of the of the waterfowl dance. But think of it this way, all right? You work on a group project, all right, and you do everything you possibly can to make it the best best possible group project ever, all right? You work so hard on it individually, but then whenever you look at the slides that your partners did. Or whenever you do the whole group project by yourself and they change all the slides to some random bullshit. That's the part that hurts is that you did so much and then there's just a bunch of crap within your like hard work. And it's it's so annoying when you have to put up with that kind of shit. Because your struggle is pointless, your effort is worthless, and then your teammates just get clapped by Melania. And then like I I've I've heard her say I am Melania Blade and Mikula too many times, alright? I've heard her say that so many times, it's been engraved in my head. Like, every single time I go to sleep, I, I, I have audio hallucinations of I am Melania Blade of Mikula on my fucking ass, bro. Oh my god. Why do I do this shit? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I try to help people that don't even need help? Because all they're going to do is just, you know, stick a blasphemous blade on the ground or just shoot beams of light at her and, you know, they're just going to die anyway. So I, I really should not be helping these people, but I still do because, I don't know, it satisfies me to kill Melania, like, more and more. But, anyways, I, I'm not going to judge how people play anymore because, really, there was one comment I saw on a YouTube video that said, the, the way you play Elden Ring is really decided upon you. 
it's about how hard you want the game to be, and I kind of made it the hard way by being like, you know, a samurai character, like, you know, with dual katanas and stuff. I, I didn't really have any magic builds because I aim all my points towards like vigor, endurance, dex, strength, and like barely any points in intelligence or faith. But the thing is that I made the game pretty hard on myself and the fact that like I played the game the way, you know, people should play it, well, there's really no correct way to play it, but like the more realistic way to play in my opinion is, you know, using swords and stuff. But that's just the way I play, because I just love playing with swords and stuff. Like, throughout my whole life, I've been just playing games, you know, where you use swords and stuff. And, like, I don't really play games with magic. And, like, Elden Ring was, like, my first Soulsborne game that I ever played properly. Because I did play Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, but I never, like, completed them. Because it's just, I don't want to feel like wasting my time. But seeing how Elden Ring was built, I think I should actually try it. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.